Today we are at Gloucester Services to get a snapshot of the sort of progress that is taking place up and down the country along the GridServe Electric Highway. The Electric Highway was originally established in 2011 and at the time it really helped kickstart the UK's electric vehicle revolution. Now however, I think the needs of the electric highway are different because the demand for electric cars is different. Within the space of 10 years, we've seen government set the direction of travel for electric cars and car makers are responding with some amazing products, the prices of which continue to fall. And consumers are responding too. Already, there are more than half a million plug-in vehicles on UK roads, and that number is only set to increase. So it's important that GridServe can provide an infrastructure that is robust, reliable, and affordable. Since acquiring the electric highway in June, GridServe has committed to not just replacing, but upgrading every single charge point. And so far our engineering team has replaced a site like this every day for the last 100 days. We're at Gloucester Northbound Services uh, and this is the 100th location where the chargers have been replaced. Today we're replacing the old single charging unit with an all-in-one charging unit that will charge CCS, CHAdeMO and AC charging. First of all, we isolate the supply, the electricity supply at the um, feeder pillar and at the, um, the plant room inside the service station. Then we take off the old charger. The old chargers will be recycled to recover all of the, um, the metal materials, um, making us a more sustainable business. The civil team will then will build up a new base for the charger to sit on. Uh, and then the electrical team will install the new charger, commission it and uh, make sure it's all uh, ready for the public to use. They weigh about five, 600 kilos, the chargers. Um, so we have a gantry system where we hoist the new charger in place. We're making sure all the charge points are fully operational. They're using the latest technology and they're providing real time data feeds, both to the grid serve maps, but also to Zap map. So that EV drivers have complete confidence in the network. But then this work is also running in parallel to the development of our new high power electric hubs, an example of which you might have seen over at Rugby, and the rollout of our flagship electric forecourt, where we've committed to build 100 sites within the next five years. You guys taking it over, especially here with this new station here at Rugby, you know, these, all of these are quite good. Never had a problem, you know, as long as I can pay it, connect, charge, and go. I mean, that's, that's the main thing. I'd come out of my way to use this particular charging point. It's fast, it's, it's easy to use, it's easy to get to. Here you've got so many of them, it's just perfect. It's just, it's just the way to go. If we haven't got any charging points, then nobody's going to buy electric vehicles. Obviously we've got the issue now with uh, fossil fuels and diesel specifically, so there's been an increased demand for electric vehicles, so we just need to keep ahead of the game. The future is undoubtedly electric. And as a company, GridServe is determined to make this transition as easy as possible. So we've finished terminating and commissioning the charger. Now all we've got to do is ring ABB and make sure everything's right at their end. So the graphics team will come after we've commissioned the chargers, put the stickers on the charger, the line markings will be done, and everything clean, ready to go for the public to use. So that's another successful site completed and another two chargers added to the GridServe electric highway.